Welcome back to Honda Football. Today's first impression and unboxing video is on some new receiver gloves from Under Armour, the UA Spotlight Pros. Now these were sent over from my partners over at eastbay.com and as usual, I'm gonna include a link in the bottom of this video description of where you can purchase these gloves. Now in this unboxing and first impression video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a first look at these. And now UA has come out with tons of gloves this year. They have the UA Highlights that I unboxed and reviewed a couple weeks ago. They have the UA Spotlights and then they have the UA Spotlight Lux. Those were the $70 gloves. Now these are 60 bucks and they're the UA Spotlight Pros. So that's three different UA Spotlight gloves that Under Armour has in its lineup, all for receivers. So let's get into the details of what makes this glove different. Now usually when I start off my first impression videos, I read the back of the package and I let you guys know all the technology that's in that glove. So I'm gonna to try to do the same thing here because of course we wanna know what's different between the Spotlights and the Spotlight Pros and the Spotlight Lux. But if you look at this package, this is all the information that I have to go off of. There's literally only two sections here and uh, one's the back of hand and one's the palm. So let's take a look, see if we can tell any differences between the Pros and the regular Spotlights. Back of hand, reflective stretch material enhances dexterity, support, and flash. So this is going to be reflective. Uh, it's, you know, it's hard to see on camera, but I'm gonna take some pictures on my Instagram and show you guys just how reflective this is. The light definitely bounces off of it. Streamlined reverse closure for maximum mobility. So Under Armour has done this on a couple of their gloves where they reverse the closure um, from the normal standard closure that is on the wrist cuff. And it feels a little weird at first for some of the gloves, but we're gonna have to see if that actually increases your mobility. The palm has tack wrap, secures fingertips and increases catchability by bringing more tack up around your fingertips. We're gonna have to check that out. UA glue grip catch technology delivers super sticky, long lasting grip. Glue grip is the truth. Again, if you guys have seen my Under Armour videos, they've updated their grip. So no longer can we say that Under Armour gloves don't last. Uh, they definitely are much more improved from previous years. So we will be taking a look at that. Now, I'm gonna try on these gloves pretty soon. Uh, in this video, of course, I need to take these out of the package. But while I'm taking them out of the package and looking at some of the things that they talked about on the packaging, I wanted to talk about some of the other UA gloves that I unboxed. Now, one thing that Under Armour is known for in their cleats and their gloves, and I would honestly say this is the number one thing that I like Under Armour for, is the fit. Their cleats fit really, really well and are really comfortable, and their gloves fit really, really well. So they've actually, this is the first that they've actually included in here. So let me pause. Uh, and it just talks about tack wrap on the fingertips. So that's funny that's in here. We'll have to see what's in the other glove. Nothing. They put nothing in the other glove. The insert was only in one glove. All right. Now the thing is, going back, the grip, or not the grip, the fit is super, super nice on uh, Under Armour gloves. And something that I missed in the regular spotlights this year is that nice compressive fit. They used a different material, made it a little bit lighter, not as light as like an F6 glove, but it's still lighter and it didn't have that nice compressive fit. Now the highlights were totally different this year and had a super, super, super nice compressive fit that made it very comfortable, very secure. Love those gloves. The UA Lux, those were uh, leather gloves, so different material and a different type of fit that you kind of have to break in. Now these are the Spotlight Pros and uh, I'm not sure the material that they use on it. You can see that the back of hand is breathable, so this is a nice change. They have vented holes on here. We're gonna have to test how well that works. Uh, the palm, unlike a lot of the Under Armour gloves from previous years, is not ventilated this time. Um, so that's gonna be a change. And now here they talk about bringing the grip towards the fingertips. Now, the grip has always been all the way up to the fingertips on all gloves. Um, I'm not sure what they mean by bringing the tips, bringing the catch tech all the way up to the fingertips. I honestly can't tell the difference, so I'm gonna have to go back and do some more research before uh, I give you guys that final review. Now, uh, here, they do have some grip around the thumb, but it catch, you're not catching on the back of your hand. Um, if you are, I definitely wanna see a video of it on YouTube or Instagram. Um, and then the reverse cuff. Here's the reverse cuff. So usually, this is on the inside. Usually you have it on the outside. That's where most gloves are. So it's on the inside, so we're gonna have to see how that actually changes. Uh, now on the inside of the glove, um, they have the NFL 
stickers that they have had for a long time or the NFL patch, that is because now they are officially licensed to be used in the NFL, so they can actually use it. Um, so these are the same gloves that NFL players use. There's literally no difference. And then, of course, they have a jock tag as well. So, again, Unarmor always does this. It has these big-ass tags on the inside. Again, you can just rip these off. So take that off. And now, let's see how these actually fit in so I can give you that full first impression. It's a well-fitting glove. Uh, overall, I'm going to have to give you guys more detail. Again, you guys can't see this actually shining in the light. Uh, but here... Um, there, you can see that there's not a lot of stretch, right? So it's different than the compressive fit that they've had. Definitely different than the highlights. If you haven't seen my UA highlight review video, check that out and the unboxing. Um, so this is going to be different. But I can't wait to test this out, figure out how is this different from the regular UA spotlights, if at all. Um, these retail for 60 bucks though. So they're already more expensive than the regular spotlights, cheaper than the Spotlight Lux. So I'm going to give you guys that detailed review and breakdown of all the three different spotlight gloves from Under Armour, what the differences are, and then see which one is right for you. Now, of course, I include the link in the bottom of this video description if you already like this and want to purchase it. If you do like my videos or you're looking forward to the review, definitely give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.